Hello, this is Paul Milligan for Innovate TV at MediaTek 2017. I'm joined by a very familiar face to uh, many in the pro AV world. It's uh, Simon Robinson, the MD of uh, the show itself. Uh, welcome. Great, Paul. Great to have you here. It's been a long time. Yeah, yeah. So I've got a lot of questions to ask you. And um, first of all, why do you think South Africa needs a show like this? Well, I think it's you know it's really about bringing technology to to the African continent. I mean that's the key key element of what we're trying to achieve here. You know, we I see you on 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 a lot of the international shows. There are very very few of our uh, visitors here can actually get to those shows, sure. get to the shows. So really, I mean, the key focus is really about exposing that new technology, new trends within technology. There's a real diverse array of exhibitors here. Is that on purpose? Yeah, it's kind of really, I mean, it's kind of grown organically. I mean, we started off, and I really go back to 2001, it started off very much a broadcast film production uh, event. And with that, um, we started to then get a lot of the sort of pro audio guys, they sort of came on board, and then to a later degree, the AV integrators. And the reason being is really that the the market here is very much dominated by distributors, not manufacturers. Okay. And a lot of those distributors sell into those three different verticals. Sure. I mean, there's, there seems to be a, a, a hell of a lot going on in the show floor. We've seen drones flying above our head and we had a quick peek in the, the black box section. Can you tell me um, what's new this year for visitors? I think the biggest thing, Paul, of what we've tried to do uh, with MediaTek is to really show a creative experience and show what is capable with that technology. So being you know, a relatively small show, uh, when we compare it to a lot of the big international shows, there's a limit to what guys are actually going to do on their stand. Yeah. So MediaTek's taken that on board and really want to show the visitor what's actually what's possible with uh, technology. So as you mentioned, black box is one of one of the uh, one of the aspects that we've actually brought in. So that's really showing from from a lighting and audio visual and integrating a dance show into it. Um, that's really showing what's capable with the use of that technology. Sure. And the the drones we've seen fun about drone. Yeah, drones are great. You know. Every, a lot of interest in, in the drones. I mean, we did a bit on social media with, with uh, promoting the drones, and it's amazing actually how, how much interest there is in, in that space. But uh, yeah, again, we use it from, a, from the drones from a, from a filming point of view, um, you know, how we can actually mount cameras on it and what we can actually do with it, how to fix it in post-production as well. Um, and then the other is around the legislation here in South Africa around uh, using a drone and using footage uh, for anything from a commercial point of view and there's a lot of legislation that we have to have to adhere to and one of our objectives there is really to try and educate people around that. Sure and how are the exhibitor and attendee numbers looking? I mean certainly before the show opened this morning there was a queue around the block for a be able to get to pick up their passes so it looks like the numbers are there yeah let's i mean we we'll only know that on the end but yeah. really i mean we were inundated with people in the beginning uh the first couple of hours there's literally like a half an hour queue for yeah, people yeah. to get in so we were frantically processing people and getting them in so yeah it looks like we're going to have a great great visit to attendance our pre-registration uh online pre-registration was somewhat 20 some 20 percent up yeah. so yeah i'm very very optimistic about that and, and to give people who maybe haven't been before give them a a flavour of the show. In terms of the attendees, how do they break down? Are they all from South Africa or beyond? And, and what kind of sectors do they work in? Well, our key sectors that we focus on here is broadcast film and uh, video production. That's the one, one main. The other is the pro audio lighting side of it and then AV integration. And then we pull in people that are specific within that market. And we're seeing more and more of a crossover within those markets, which is, which is interesting. The other interesting stat which we're actually picking up on is more and more young people coming through to the show. And that's very exciting for me. I think yeah. it's, you know, for, for the youngsters coming through, they're seeing the new technology. They're also bringing a whole new creative element to actually what's being created with the content. Sure. I mean, the change in, in linear, from linear broadcast to, to OTT is having a massive impact on the broadcasters. And, you know, from an editing point of view, the editing software is coming down in, in price. So in a post-production space, massive, massive changes as well. So what are the, I mean, you touched on a couple there. What are the sort of trends you're seeing on the show floor i mean you mentioned kind of 4k we're seeing you know especially in europe av over ip technology is, is kind of huge right now are you seeing kind of things similar things like that here? yeah paul i mean it's an interesting question it's a question that we get asked uh, very often people think that in south africa we're lagging behind but you know from a technology space we're right up there with the world i think sometimes it's just budgets that come down so sometimes there isn't the spend that we need 
down in South Africa. But South Africa is really playing a gateway in, into the rest of Africa. We're seeing more and more African delegates coming up. Yeah. But going back to the to the trends, uh, 4K is obviously a real, real hot topic. Um, you know, the transition from linear linear broadcasting to OTT is is massive. In the AV integration space, again, also so much more software coming into it. We're seeing that more and more and more actually sure. happening. Sure. And just to round up, could you give us an idea of the sort of growth that you guys have gone through over the years? Because it's every, once every two years, isn't it, the show? Could you yeah. give us an idea of how it's how it's grown over the time? I mean, Paul, we started off literally as a you know a 2,000 square meter show. I mean, excluding what we've got outdoors, we're over 12,000 square meters. Wow. We used to have around about 2,000 visitors. We're knocking on 8,000 visitors wow. now to the show. So it's been it's been phenomenal. Yeah. We're getting more and more people coming from around the country. So it's not just you know from from Johannesburg. So we're getting from you know guys jumping on the on a plane and flying two hours from Cape Town. And I, and I, and I say that because uh, South Africa is a big place and it's yeah, yeah. you know it's it's a long trip. And again, also more and more of the uh, African delegates coming down. And when I say African, guys on the African continent, not from South Africa, sure. more and more of those guys coming down to the show. Yeah, yeah, it certainly looks from seeing people's badges and stuff. There's a, a vast array of people from Africa and way beyond. You know, there seems to be really captured the imagination, I think, this time around. Yeah, we're also getting a lot of the manufacturers coming down, I think, to come and scout the industry and get a real feel for the industry. You know, coming to these trade shows, you really, really get a feel for what a market is doing. You know, is your product going to work at that market? You get that opportunity to do that when you come to these trade shows. Sure. Fantastic. Simon, good luck with the rest of the show. Always great to talk to you. Great. Lovely having you guys here.